beautiful people welcome back this is your girl jennifer welcome back to my channel for my new subscribers you're welcome my name is lemmy jennifer and i am a youtuber based in saudi arabia and we are here to share ideas have fun encourage each other you know i'm just here to share my life and experiences with you while walking out of my home country so to all my subscribers i'm super happy and i say thank you very much because you are the real vips thank you so much and if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome back to this awesome channel I promise to my best to keep the videos coming back to back and please if you've not subscribed yet encourage me thank you hit the subscription button and also the notification button so that anytime I upload new videos you can get notified okay that was a lot now let's go to what brought me here today you know we have been in lockdown for like three years now right and this is a situation that i know is all around the world now schools resumed in saudi yay okay people it's been two years straight up that the saudi ministry um put a ban for schools to work or to perform um, in person like students going to class so everything was online so we have been having school online we have been teaching the students online so recently yeah last year 2021 by september school actually resumed in person for some students those that were 12 years and above yeah those that could take the vaccine and those that had taken the vaccine yeah so for the elementary section it was still online so it was it has not been easy teaching the students online and you, by the way even though schools resumed in person some students were still not going to school yes so some schools were having part-time online part-time in school that some a week they will have students come to school another week they will have online totally while some schools were having students both in school and students online so you can imagine the work teachers had to do. It was quite a lot. Now, going to the part where students were all online. You know, I'm actually coming to share my experience with teaching online and teaching in person. Now, for starters, when in, in person, it's we all know teaching in person is the normal way it was flexible it was comfortable we had a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the students so that is what we have always known now with the new change online first thing we had to make a lot of adjustments to the new technologies the changes learning how to use the platforms the online platforms that we had to use to teach the students First, we had to learn that, learning how to manage students online. That was another aspect of online teaching that was quite challenging. Learning how to manage struggling students online was also another aspect of the job that was quite challenging. But you know, we made it through. I can say that we made it through as teachers. So before I continue in this video, I want to give a very big hand of applause to all the teachers out there. 
you all are doing an amazing job because we were like the superheroes in that period or in this period of pandemic, keeping the kids going, making sure they have good education. And all proprietors of schools today did a lot of effort to make sure their students were well taught, even in the midst of the crisis. So coming online was challenging. We had to make those changes and those adjustments. Now, imagine we were online for two good years. So the first year was a time of adjustment, was a time to learn, was a time to, you know, get to know the platform, be used to the platform, making the students be comfortable, knowing that this is our new way of life. So we succeeded. We succeeded in having the students be online. We taught online. It became easy. Teaching became easy online. We managed to have students that were still doing great online. We managed to have students that could still understand and grasp and master the lessons online. We managed to have quizzes and evaluate the students for an entire year. It was good. Everything went well. And the second year, the same thing. So it had become a routine. The kids were already comfortable. And during this time of online learning, a lot of the parents stepped in, um, particularly for the younger kids from I can say from elementary to KG so it was challenging but good enough most of the parents because became more engaged in helping their kids at home so it made the work easier and lighter for us so that's it for the advantages though now in every good thing there is always a disadvantage of course so talking about the disadvantage the difficulties we had online. We had a difficulty of the first challenge we had was having a one-on-one -on -one relationship with our students. Imagine you had kids who just left from KG, for example, to come to grade one, or some kids who had never gone to school, and the first time they have to go to school, it's on a computer seeing their teacher on the screen. It wasn't easy to have to build up that relationship with these students, with these kids. You know, a teacher-student relationship is always very necessary and important. It plays an important role in the student's academic performance. So that relationship was usually shaky was it wasn't easy because online being online and seeing someone on the screen is very different from seeing them in person and building that student teacher relationship but we managed to we managed to solve that um, barrier by having constant communication with the teacher i'm um, sorry with the parents and um having constant feedback and check up from them and also making the lessons less bulky but of good quality that is making the students know that there is no much difference with learning online and in school so we made the environment comfortable and made learning quite um, easy and enjoyable too you know with children we have to use strategies that will make them learn while having fun. Now, the second challenge we had was having a proper follow-up of weak students. You know, in every classroom, you have high average students that's higher above, like um, A students or A+. We have um, 
average students and we have below average students. So it's a teacher's responsibility to know how to strategize and make each key reach a standard that is um, available. Um, sorry, that is a standard that is going to make that child's performance improve from one level to another. So online, it was quite difficult because especially for the below average students, because with every below average child, the best and most convenient solution is usually a one-on-one, -on -one, a tete-a-tete -tete session with the teacher. Yes, it's usually the best solution. A one-on-one -on -one session with a teacher regularly, it's usually the best strategy to change a below average student to probably average and probably to an A student. So it was so challenging to do that proper follow-up because it was online. You know, having a tete-a-tete -tete with a student online, it's the same way like after having a session, a classroom session, after having about um, six hours online teaching a kid, and you have to call that kid, come meet me after school. It's so hard. They are tired. They are tired. They are exhausted. These are kids below 10. So it's never easy for them to stay back, for you to have that one-on-one -on -one with them. It was generally not easy at all. So the way we solved this was having the parents' input. And um, personally, I contacted the parents of these students that were below average. They had to do an extra effort at home with their kids so we help them give them materials we help them tell them what to do in order to make these students pick up or catch up with the rest of the class yeah now the next challenge we had about online teaching was managing the students Imagine you have a class of about 15 students and you have to <laughs> manage that class. Now, these kids are in their homes. Some of them are taking classes from their bedrooms. Some of them are in the living rooms. Some of them are in the kitchen. Some of them are some probably <laughs> living in the bathroom. What can you do? So managing the kids online was so, so challenging having them leave their cameras open, having them mute their mics, having them talking when they are supposed to talk, having them not interrupting the teacher. Oof. Discipline was another thing. And, you know, at home they have their families around. If the kids are trying to focus, maybe a family is at the background doing something that is interrupting the lessons and once a child's lesson is being interrupted the others are seeing so it was quite challenging telling the kid sit in a position where we can't see around you put your background it was so so challenging and you know we're teaching kids some are six years old some are five some are seven they are so young and they some paying attention online it wasn't an easy thing for them. Some of them will be in class and they are playing their video games. Yeah. Some of them are in class, maybe watching movie or watching the TV. Some of them are in class and they are using the same iPads they are using to study to play games. You are in front of your screen. How do you do to stop that child? How do you do to make that child focus? So you can see how online was challenging. But then it was an experience that I would say was a learning experience that made us know that change is something very constant in life. And we should be ready to accommodate change at all times. Because it's something we didn't expect. 
but good enough technology has advanced and we succeeded now for disciplinary and class management we had to use measures of um, we have a, something we use in school a platform called class dojo where the kids have points if they do good performances we give them points if they're going against the rules we can take points so that's just one of the ways though so we had other ways well that was it for online um that's just a brief summary of online experience i just wanted to give a recap of how it went for the two years that we were online now coming back to school before we continue please hit the subscription button because we have more gist so coming back to school on the 23rd of January 2022, the Ministry of um, Education in this kingdom announced that in-person school for all students is going to resume on the 23rd. So we were like, we teachers had a mixed feeling. Some of them, some teachers didn't want to. We had gotten used to, especially... Um, parents like teachers that are parents like moms or dads especially moms the moms had gotten used to the routine they're at home they are working from home it's convenient to take care of their kids at the same time they are working so it was a mixed feeling some teachers like me I was excited because I could finally leave the house every day and go to school like a normal person who goes to work. I go to work, but I wake up from my bed, sleep, um, sit in my room and do work. So that lifestyle was really, 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 really kind of, let me use the word, boring for me. Yeah, because I live alone. So I was so excited. I would go back to school. I'll be able to see my friends on a regular. I'll be able to see my colleagues. I've not seen some of them for two years. We've been talking on phone or we meet once in a while, but I was so happy. That's my personal point of view, okay? And about the parents, it was also a mixed feeling. A lot of parents, were happy i can say 70 percent were super happy this is what they had been waiting for they wanted the kids to go back to school because they already had a lot on their plates with them at home so the kids had to go back so they were happy why some were not and i will tell you till now some are still not comfortable because we still have cases the virus we see of cases in the kingdom, despite the booster dose that has been added, not everyone has gotten it. We still, and not everyone wanted to vaccinate their kids. Parents were still skeptical. They could go to school and get um, the, the um, virus. So it was a mixed feeling. So the solution to that, the solution to that was we still have some students online yeah so school resumed on the 23rd it's been two weeks now that's why i'm making this video now because i wanted to have um to see the situation yeah so it's been two weeks we've been going to school from the 23rd today is the 2nd of february 2022 so we've been going to school for two weeks and the turnout is way beyond what we expected I can say in on my in my school where I work, eighty percent of the student population came back in person. That's elementary to KG. We didn't expect it this much. We knew maybe fifty percent would be in school and fifty percent online. Eighty. So the parents we now understand that the parents really wanted the schools to resume. They're like 20% are online. So what we have now is in-person students and some online. So we have resumed school. Students are coming to school, but we still have some students that we teach online. 
so that is how it's going now we don't know for how long it's going to flow this way and things are always uncertain it the decision might be changed that we go back online or uh, that it might be decided that we stay in school we don't know but for the moment i'm excited that we are back in school i just hope before um we stay this way to until the end of this academic year yes that's my wish personally so people um i just wanted to share with you i i think this is something i, I needed to share okay so i want to attach a really short video because before the students came you know the school has just been there we were not um teaching in school so there was no need to prep the classes but before they came we went a day or two before to prep the classes do decorations um prepare the classes for the students so i'm just going to put a very short video attached to this on how i was preparing my class and how my class looks like now so pre preparations are still going by the way because when we come back we can do all the decorations in one day and some of the things we use for decorations are the students work their activities so for now we just use the basic team the team for my section is circus so with that team in mind you need to do something as a teacher to make your classroom environment comfortable and good for learning so thank you very much people for watching thank you very much for listening to me i hope i have more time to film videos and bring to you about um, school and how things are going i i'm going to try my best to update you all now if you're a teacher and you're teaching somewhere where you where you had this experience of online and in-person school please drop your comments below let's share and see how it works every way so thank you for watching and stay positive people please subscribe and share and like my videos thank you so this is how my class Bye presently looks like i have 10 students in my class so it's so comfortable and spacious Thank you.